I think it is safe to say that the act of budgeting, tracking your expenses and just being on top of your finances as well as setting your goals is something that many of us wish we could do. However, if you do not know where to start, it's very hard to get going. It's very hard to pick up that pen and actually start budgeting per month because it feels overwhelming as an obsessed budgeter for years i've always budgeted and that is because it's a habit that i built on at a very young age and i found myself being exhausted each and every month whenever i would have to budget because i always wanted to set up my spreads you know nice spreads that were appealing to my eyes and also just made it exciting for me to budget each and every month and it became daunting each and every time i had to sit down and budget because i knew i had to spend hours creating spreads for that month in terms of what my budget is going to look like and just making it appealing and last year i decided that it is time for me to do something about that and thus i decided to embark on a journey of creating my own journal which is the every cent financial journal the idea behind it was to have something that will make it easy for me to budget not that it was confusing for me to, for me to budget however it was taking a long time each and every month because i would dread the idea of sitting down and creating spreads what then became interesting is how many of you guys received this journal very well and it showed me that many of you guys have been looking for a tool that will allow you to budget as well as track your expenses each and every month and i'm so happy to see my community that i've built here on the internet using these tools embracing these tools and 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 using them to help them to manage their finances finances because that is a goal of mine and so it has been really exciting and just amazing to see you to see you guys you know ordering this and short and sharing in your stories how you are using them with that being said i also wanted to share with you how i am using this journal and so i'm going to take you through some of my spreads so let us get into it so we're gonna get into my journal right here this is what it looks like and by the way i also just wanted to say this even though i did mention this on my previous video that i was sharing my monthly reset these are back in stock so please make sure that you grab yours before they finished so let's just get inside it so i haven't even written my name so i'm just gonna write my name quickly here this is what it looks like you've got your the year here guys i designed this from beginning up until the end i didn't have a graphic designer i did everything myself so it tells you about the journal and then you have the year at a glance how you use it is that you would write that so for example here on the 27th of january it was my sister's birthday On the 26th of February, it's uh, Nomzebo's birthday. And then March, there's an event that I have to go to. So you just note important dates. And then further on, what I then decided to do is to create how to how to pages because i do know that as much as my spreads are not complicated however if you are not used to those spreads it's going to be very hard for you to actually use them it's going to be hard for you to fully utilize them and so i decided to create how to pages how to pages so that i can explain to to you guys how do you use the journal see the examples in terms of how am i using the journal so this one shows you how to set up the yearly goals and i'm going to set i'm going to do mine with you guys but obviously i'm gonna put music over it because it is a lot of writing but this is how you go about using it so you have different categories that you can use but it just shows you how to to how to go about it as well as how to fill the goals grid i've already filled i've already filled my goals grid because it was a lot of writing and i didn't want to sit you guys through that and then we've got the how to fill the monthly budget like if you follow this you follow this you follow these prompts here at the side on the side it will be very easy for you to understand how to go about filling this it shouldn't be confusing because the way that i laid it out is as an example of how to go about doing it we're gonna do the financial goals so 
I'm going to speed over this because it's going to take a long time. I'm just going to fill just one part with you guys and then the other one I'm going to fill I'm going to do it alone because I don't want this video to be too long but I just want to show you how I break my goals down so when it comes to my financial goals I have two parts of my goals the way that I wanted to break it so I wanted to I want to save and invest over 100,000 this year and what are things that I'm going to do or what yeah what are things that I'm going to do per month to make sure that I get to this 100,000 so the first one is I want to mix out my tax-free inv investment with or uh, that I have with easy equities which is 36,000 the second one I want to invest for wealth building which is 36,000 as well and then I want to save 33,000 on my easy um, on my emergency fund as well as invest 13,200 for my child's education fund and then i want to save for property buying thirty thousand um yeah i want to save thirty thousand for proper for property buying as well as uh save money for school fees for 2024 which most likely it's around my goal is to make sure that it is twelve thousand by the end of the year and then the second part that i that's gonna help me just to be on top of to get to this is the save for december 910 per month now i'm gonna bump this up because of yeah i'm gonna bump this up because of the change of my uh, in my salary so chances are i might just double this so that it becomes more because my goal is to have ten thousand by end of end of the year but ten thousand is not enough for december so maybe i'll bump it up and make it double so that i can have twenty thousand for december the reason why it is going to be that much is because i hire a car during december so it's better to have more money than to have less money and i want to hire a nice car in this like this year i want to hire a nice car i want to do an upgrade you know and so i also want um to save for home essentials 500 rents like there's this cabinet that i want to buy for storing my business things because they're sitting in boxes in my living room and i don't like that and so i'm going to put i'm going to get that cabinet i saw one at superbalist but at there it, it it sold out but i saw one at decofen same make so i think i'll just go with decofen is 2000 so i'm gonna need to speed up on the home thing so that i can have the 2000 and then birthday 600 per month now these three they're really not going to contribute much to the money that i'm going to save by the end of the year maybe the, the the december one will but the rest which is the two the home content and birthdays they're not going to contribute much to the 100,000 because it's money that I'm going to be using along the year. The December one is only money that I'm going to use at the end of the year, but I think I might include it when I'm calculating how much was I able to save in total and invest in the year 2024. So whatever money that I have by the end of the year, that's going to help me to see if I am I did reach my goal of 100,000 or not. So that is how I break my goals down. And then let me show you then how I <clears throat> then broke broke it down here on the goals grid so on the goals grid i have here in one year it's the same things that i have here 
it's the same things that I have here that in one year, this is how I'm going to see if I was able to get to these things or not. And then in six months, you can see here, then I broke it down in six months. I said here, I want to invest 18,000 by June. That is my tax free. I want to make sure that by 18,000 by June is invested in the tax free. And then I'm going to continue investing, obviously, and then invest a total of 14,200 on the, on what? On my emergency fund, make sure that by June I have invested or I've saved 14,200 and the reason why it's 14,200 is because I know that I am going to use my bonus to also bump this up much faster and then build wealth that is I want to make sure that by June I have 18,000 by end of June 18,000 in there and then save 15,000 by June for property buying and then invest 6,600 on the education fund by June. So these are things by end of June, I'm going to come back here and see, okay, was I able, how much money was I able to invest here on the, on, on my tax free? How much money was I able to invest on my emergency fund? How much money was I able to invest on my wealth building? How much money was I able to save for the property buying? And if, 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 if it's below this, then I will see if I'm on track or not. If it's not, if it's above these amounts, then I will see that. Okay. I'm doing well. And then we come to three months in three months. I then broke it down even further in three months. So that means that from January to March, I want to make sure that at least 6,000 is invested. And then another three months again, make sure that at least a minimum of 6,000 is invested. Same thing here, invest 4,730 in every three months. I'm going to come back every quarter. I'm going to come back and see if I mean, if, if I'm on track or not, if it's below this, then I'll see that I need to do more action. I need to put in more effort. And then we come to one month. One month is basically saying each and every month when I do, when I get paid, when I do my budget, what do I need to do? So the first one is it makes out my tax free account so that one there's no action needed per month because i'm not going to be investing for it each and every month i'm just going to be putting in money like from my bonus and whenever i get like money that i'm going to put especially my bonus that's where i'm going to to do it and then i <clears throat> And then I also want to invest a minimum of 13,000 per month. So that is 1,300, I'm sorry. So invest 1,300 on the emergency fund. So it is all in line. And then three, I also want to, I must make sure that I invest 3,000 per month on the world building. So for example, in January, I was only able to put away 2,500. So already I can see it was okay. I am not going according to what I had hoped, but I'm doing some things. But this just helps so that you can see if you are going according to plan, if you are putting in the action that is needed for you to achieve your goal, because without the action, then you achieving your, your goal by the end of the year is not going to be possible. And so that is why I like breaking it down like that. And so I wanted to share with you this one so that you can see how I am plan, how I am doing it and how I'm putting action plan to work towards my main goal. And so I'm going to do the same thing for my personal goals as well as my business goals. And then I've already broken them down here. So that's, that's the part. And then now let us do my savings track. Ne? Let, me, let me just update. So I've already put in the, the titles for my savings tracker. So I've got my tax free, which is 36,000. I've got my wealth building, which is 36,000. These are monies that I want to make sure that by end of the year I have, by the way. And then here we get, when we get to the end, it's just per month. So this one, I want to make sure that it's 36,000. And then I did bump it up the wealth building, you know, and then the property, no, I didn't bump it up. And then the property one, I did bump it up at first. I to put 20,000, but now it's going to be 30,000. And then emergency fund 22,000, stock fell 1,000 per month. This is stock fell for 2024 um, school fees, as well as sinking funds. I'm only going to track the December one, which is 910, because the birthday one, and as well as the home content ones, I'm going to be using along the year. So let us enter the amounts that I was able to save in January here. So in January for my tax free, um, we didn't do that one. And then for wealth building, wealth, wealth building, we put in, I put in 2,500 and then for property, we didn't do that one. 
um and then emergency fund i did put in 1300 and then for the education fund i'm also not tracking it here but it's just standard because that one is the long long term and actually it's not my money it's my daughter's money so i'm really not gonna track it here and then stock fell i did put in a thousand and then here i did put in 910 now let's see how much money it was even though it's not everything because if we go back to when I go back to my channel budget, we can see here. Ne? So we've got emergency fund, education fund, stock fell, sinking funds, wealth, and one month ahead. Yeah. So together it came out to be 10,007. So come here, it's going to be less because there are some that I'm not tracking. So I, that I'm not tracking here. So we're just going to say 2,500 plus 1,300 plus 1,000 plus 910 and that is by the end at the end here you put the total for the month and so for me here it is five thousand seven hundred and ten but obviously it is more than that i saved more than that it's just that when i was doing the categories i didn't put a lot i just put in three of which is giving me an idea that next time next time when i'm designing when i'm designing these the the, the journal i need to have more like maybe if i can have this is six ne? so maybe if i can have eight you know yeah maybe eight yeah i think eight is possible yeah and then the debt tracker i'm not using because i am i'm not planning to pay off any debts this year and then so with the debt tracker you've got four spreads and then we've got the january one and then it comes with the codes each and every month comes with the codes this one says success doesn't come from what you do occasionally it comes from what you do consistently and this is a reminder that each and every month be consistent be consistent with budgeting you know budget each and every month you know be intentional and make sure that you're tracking your expenses each and every month and then what i then do here what i then do here i just take these things and this line this last part and then i use it to inform my monthly goals it just becomes easier because i don't have to sit and think this month what do i want to work on no because i've already went through that part that each and every month this is what i have to do so i just take this and i put it here sometimes it changes like here i want to save eleven thousand. next month it was i wanted to save and invest seven thousand based on my budget it will change but I just don't have to overthink this. When it comes to my budget, that is what it looks like. Now, I haven't tracked this last part. I haven't added this last part, but I did it on that other channel because I moved everything from the old planner that I was using to here. And so that is what you then track. And then you've got your weekly allocation, cash stuffing. And then now what we do have now, we've got the budget overview of which I fully utilized last month. And then we've got the February one. Then we are setting up for February. And then we I did my budget already, so I don't have to do that with you. I already filled up here. And then if I have any notes that I want to write, anything that I want to scribble, use that page. And then we do the overview and then you are done so that is how i am using that is how i'm using my journal right here and i'm hoping that this does encourage you to use it because i really do not want you guys to buy these and then have to sit with them and not know how to use them because they're not cheap you know you i don't want you to buy something and not use it because then it will be money wasted so i'm hoping that with me just showing you these it's gonna help you to just use it but also each and every month i'm going to show you when i do my monthly reset i'm going to show you how i'm using it so that it inspires you to take out yours as well and use it so that you do not waste your money so i'm going to get back to writing my personal goals as well as my business goals yo so that is it for this video just wanted to share briefly with you guys how i'm setting up my journal this is not going to be a long video but i'm just hoping that it inspires you to use yours and so i'll see you guys on the next one and uh let me close you my beautiful baby i'll see you guys on the next one please take care and stay safe bye